Now, whether it's spending more time in the garden or going for a daily walk, lockdown is definitely helping many of us connect with the nature on our doorsteps. So it's good timing for a new campaign trying to reverse the drastic decline in insect numbers. Last year, scientists at the University of Sussex suggested that half of all insects may have been lost over the last 50 years because of the heavy use of pesticides and the destruction of their habitats. And it warned that 40% of the one million insect species we know of are currently facing extinction. So now we're all being asked to do our bit to help tackle the crisis. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin has tonight's special report. Foraging in the warmth of the sun. Our bees and other insects play a vital role in our existence. And scientists warn that if we don't stop their decline, there'll be profound consequences for all life on Earth, as well as our own well-being. They are declining at a really staggering rate, and we rely on insects, not just for pollination, um, but for all sorts of other services as well, and which we just take for granted. So we, we are hitting that kind of crunch point, and we really need to be taking action now. And so the wildlife trusts are calling on us all to play our part. A new guide has been launched for us to ponder over whilst we're all in lockdown. It's full of top tips of things that we can all do to help the insects in our gardens. And perhaps one of the most important things that's easy to achieve is to leave our land alone and let areas, if not all of it, go wild. One of the worst things for insects is to mow your lawn. A mown lawn is one of the most species poor places you can imagine. Just leave it and let it flower. Things like dandelions are really important early in the season. The daisies are really important, but leave areas untidy, leave piles of dead wood around, plant native wild flowers, introduce a bit of water into the garden. It doesn't have to be a huge pond. An upside down washing up bowl is just as good and will attract insects. Children are being encouraged to get involved too. By learning about what lives in the garden, they can better help protect it. Kids love insects. Kids are, kids are the next generation. They are, they are the ones that are going to help uh, reverse the decline in, in, and, and make a change for the good into the future. Last year's report was a stark warning, but its author also sent out the message in a campaign video that insect populations can be rescued if we all do our bit. Um, even growing herbs and a few tomatoes in pots on a balcony is better than nothing. More key essentials include reducing pesticides and switching off outdoor night lighting, giving our insects a better chance. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, Tunbridge.